Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex, and the topic for this video is five tips to honor or respect sexual rejection. These tactics work for both sexual situations, dating, love life in general. Okay, so we can start applying them. Um, the first tip is to understand that uh, no reply. If you ask somebody out through a text message, Facebook or you know, you send them a WhatsApp message or a text message and they don't reply, um, there are two possibilities. One of them is that they didn't get the message and the other one is they got the message and they don't want to say yes or don't want to reply. So a no reply equals a no thanks. That's the way to take it. If somebody doesn't reply to one of your messages and, you know, of course, there is always the, the doubt that they might have got it or not but nowadays you can see with technology if they got the message or not it's there is the you know in uh, all these applications you can uh, you can actually verify so if they don't reply to your message it's usually uh no thanks i feel personally that um when you get um, a no thanks or you get a no reply or somebody might give you an excuse they say well i would love to come but I'm already busy that night, it might be true, you know. So it's a form of rejection that is a, a soft rejection, it's not a firm no. It means that uh, they come with, a, with an excuse, a reason why it's not the right time for them. So when that happens, I, um, I find that a, a good way to, to handle such a rejection is to try again. You try again one week, ten days later not too frequently it's like for instance if you get one rejection one day and you keep on trying the following day and the, the day after it's too soon it's too fast so sometimes somebody will really be in the middle of something important at work and not have the time and the availability so uh, at another time they might be more available and receptive to your invitation so keep that in mind um, a no thanks doesn't mean no thanks forever it can mean no thanks right now i'm not available so if you try three times um, at different intervals with different forms of invitation like hey would you like to come to the movies or i'll be in town on saturday uh, would you like to get together or um, i'm throwing this party at my place and every time it's a systematic no then uh, three times give you a hint that that person is not really interested in spending time with you if it's, if it's just a one-time rejection uh, even twice you can go like well i still have a possible chance there is possible chance of communication there uh, uh, something else to try is to give them the possibility to to uh, take the initiative themselves but again you know just a one-time rejection don't give up with just a one-time rejection unless it's a very clear firm no thanks i'm not interested in sharing anything with you um but very often you know for instance in the i don't know latino cultures you know women if you go and ask a woman how to dance very often she will be playful she will be oh, i'm not going to dance with you who are you i don't know you you know so it's a playful way of rejecting that is actually an invitation very often to to test you to to try for you to to go and playfully respond to see if she's going to um, to eventually say yes to your invitation so there is you know sometimes the rejection is is a is a playful rejection it's not a firm one um, something very important to honor and respect uh, sexual or dating rejection is to uh, to be needy free <laughs> Okay, this one is especially for, for men. Uh, this happens a lot in my circle with people that I'm coaching. Women very often come to me and they complain about that. And uh, they will say things like, you know what, the other day I went on this date with this guy and when I was going back home in, on the way, he was giving me a ride and then he kept on insisting to come back to my place i said no i have to work the following day and he kept on insisting and then he became needy and then he became aggressive he started um, verbally attacking me or and so that's very hurtful so guys and women don't do that that's that's not okay somebody rejects you you need to honor 
their power of self-determination. It doesn't mean that they have been leading you on. It doesn't mean that they have been manipulating you. The fact that somebody says yes to come and have a drink with you doesn't mean, yes, I'm going to have sex with you tonight, okay? Um, and it's important to understand that. Don't be needy, don't fall into um, pressure and demanding patterns just because somebody said uh, no to having sex with you that night. It's important to be emotionally, energetically mature. So keep that in mind, guys and women, but especially guys, because this is an example that I face a lot over here. I see these patterns uh, coming back and women complaining about it a lot. It is that, men, you need to show up with a certain level of emotional maturity. This is not high school. It's not like you are five years old. Uh, if you are in your 20s, 30s, 40s, and a woman comes and you know, you say, well, do you want to come back to my place and share some time together? And she goes like, no, I have, I would rather go and sleep. I feel a little bit tired and I have to wake up early tomorrow morning. The only possible answer is, yes, sure. That's, that's the only possible answer. Why would you at that moment become needy or aggressive? Well, so why, why, what are we doing here? You know, it's like, what? <laughs> No, be, be respectful, relax, you know, and honor the, the power and the right of, for that person to say, to say no to you. This is very important because otherwise you leave a trail of trauma and anger and frustration through the, the, the women that you, are, that you are dating. And so, yeah, keep that, keep that in mind. Another way to uh, to take to be able to take rejection and and honor it is to um, <clears throat> invest less, expect less. You know, if uh, again you are a man and you notice this woman and you spend like six months observing her, not necessarily stalking her. It doesn't need to be creepy, but it's like you notice her and you like her, and and then uh, one day you take all your courage and you come to her and you're sure it's gonna work and then she goes like no actually you're just a friend I don't feel any form of romantic attraction towards you and you have been investing all this time and energy building up all these fantasies and then she crashes them just like that then of course it's gonna hurt because you have lots of expectations so my advice to you is lower your expectations you know prepare yourself to the idea that it can be a yes or it can be a no and uh, if you are prepared to the idea and lower your expectation, then it's going to be much, much easier. Um, another way to uh, honor and uh, respect sexual rejection is to actually practice the mindset or the skill of getting rejected. You know, there are some, some circles out there of personal development in the in the seduction community, guys go out there in the field and uh, they will train themselves to get to get rejected. It means that they are going to be starting all sorts of conversations with women they are not interested in at all, just to get rejected, just to get used to the feeling of how it impacts you when you get you get rejected. So that's a little bit of playful. It's not necessarily something that you need to do as a, as a guy, but it's it's an interesting thing to keep in mind. It is that. Um, being able to, to, to respond to a rejection from an empowering perspective and realize that it has nothing to do with me, it has nothing, it's not personal, you, uh, you, you, build up, uh, you build up like this ability to be like a ninja and emotionally, um, emotionally uh, defend yourself against uh, uh, the potential hurt of a, of a rejection. So it's something to practice, something to play with. And uh, I've got some, some, some men in my circle who are really, really good at that. You know, they will start all sorts of conversations and women will come to you and push them away and reject them. And it uh, doesn't alter their happiness at all. And uh, so that's a skill that as men, it's important to, to learn. For women as well, same story. If you feel like you're in a very sensitive place that you put all your hopes on in this guy and the day you take, the courage to go and ask him out and he's like um, no 
I don't actually like you or you know I mean that would be a bit harsh but you know I have a I have a girlfriend you go like wow you know is this going to take you into uh, an emotional deep that um, is this going to emotionally annihilate you for like a week or are you able to be like yeah whatever there are lots of men on this planet and I have many other options so keep that in mind the idea of um, honoring a rejection and playing with that it's a good one I'll see you soon